Ivermectin not for COVID. A lot of people are taking Ivermectin drugs to treat COVID-19, so should you really take one too? Hey! Guys today's topic, is going to be all about Ivermectin, its effects on COVID, and will it really help you against COVID or not? We will be rolling through all of it, in this video, so let's start crystallizing our minds. 1a. What is Ivermectin? First, let's discuss what Ivermectin is so you could better understand it. Ivermectin is a drug that has been used wittily for the cure of parasites in animals specifically, that includes heartworm disease and some specific internal and external parasites. But this drug is only prescribed for animals like cows, horses, etc. A very low amount of dosage has been only approved for humans, only for treating rosacea, head lice, and some specific parasitic worms. Rosacea is a disease that causes small blood vessels to appear in your face, tiny red bumps and all these diseases are small ones and can go away automatically. Let me repeat here, only a small proportion of this drug has been approved for human use and more specifically only for these skin problems and infections not for COVID-19. Nowadays, ivermectin has been greatly used by people, for curing COVID-19. It is because of the goddammit myths and legends, that ivermectin can actually stop coronavirus from replicating itself when it is attached to the cells inside the human's body. Because of this myth people have really hurt themselves badly. FDA reports that several cases have been reported of people trying out ivermectin for treating COVID-19, now these people are hospitalized and need serious medical help. So, let's jump to the part, why ivermectin should not be used for treating coronavirus. 1b. Why it is not for COVID. Hey! You've probably heard, according to biology humans come into the animals category, just not from behavior though. Okay. Hold on to that thought. Humans are much more different and complex than animals, it was said just for the classification of species and not in real life. So, you should not take the ivermectin drug cause, it is used for animals. Another solid reason is coming right away. It is not approved by FDA. The Food and Drugs Authority, FDA, is playing a major role in this pandemic. We all know that, before approving a drug, they sensibly calculate the scientific data and go for its working and side effects, and when they're experimenting on that specific drug is done, then they decide to approve it or not. So, every drug that has not been approved by FDA can be very dangerous to use. For your perusal, it is not approved by FDA, so stop using it if you were, and if weren't don't even think about it. Should you make a request to experiment with this drug for human use, more specifically against COVID-19? Luckily, you don't need to do that, a study is already underway, they are doing anything for the cure, aren't they? But until then ivermectin drug could really be dangerous. Hey, if this reason was not enough for you, not to use it. Here's another one. High concentrations and inactive ingredients. Likely said, this drug is given to horses, and cows, etc., which weigh way more than you. A small breed of cattle weighs around 272 to 454 kilograms, not to mention the large breeds 635 to 1134 kilogram. I bet you have already compared it to your weight. Now if they get sick, they would need highly concentrated drugs to catch up with their mass, so if you happen to eat it will definitely make you intensive sick, and there are high chances of your death, due to its high concentration. Let's get back to FDA, shall we? Their work does not only ends with experimenting with a new drug, they also examine the inactive ingredients in the specific drug. So, what are inactive ingredients? The products that are mixed in the drug, other than their curing ingredients, meaning it includes artificial flavors, fatty acids, polymers, etc. These ingredients are used to keep the pill active and in working condition, and can be very dangerous if highly concentrated. 
Now let's get back to the topic, in animal drugs, there are certain inactive ingredients that can adversely affect human health. The FDA writes, we don't know how the ivermectin inactive ingredients will affect your body. But you can take a half or quarter of the tablet, so, it could balance with your mass, right? I'm like seriously. Here is the last reason, which will definitely make you stay away from this drug. It is not antiviral. Do you know COVID-19 is a virus and not some parasite? Of course, you do, it is called coronavirus. Likely said, in humans, a small percentage of this drug is used to treat parasitic infections and skin problems like rosacea, head lice, etc. This drug only works against parasitic diseases and the breathtaker coronavirus is not a parasite but a highly dangerous virus. For your information, viruses can only be stopped using antiviral medicines or injections and not some antiparasitic or antibiotic drugs. 1c. Don't fall for the security myths. I hope now you know, the real deal of ivermectin drug. So, stay away from this drug and if someone that you know is using it, stop them from using it cause, it is highly toxic. The legends have risen that this drug can cure COVID-19 and it should not as a surprise, as many consumers are trying to cure it in untraditional ways. It's time to bury these myths. It is recommended to take Pfizer, Moderna vaccines, and the others out there. Anyway, before you do something stupid, just make sure to browse for it on the official website of the FDA. And if you want to be kept updated then stick with us by subscribing to my channel, and don't fall for anything unless it is suggested by your government and FDA. How much harm can it cause? Are we missing something out? Yeah. It's harmful effects on humans, if you overdose on this drug. It can cause, vomiting, nausea, diarrhea, low blood pressure, itching, dizziness, and seizure, etc. But if you kept using it, it can even kill you, so be careful, what you deal with. If you have taken this drug already, my suggestion is to stop using it and show yourself to a real doctor. So, what should you do now? I don't know why you would still ask this question. Haven't I been clear, it's not for humans and not approved by FDA. Well, now that you have asked this question, there are few things that you can do. Wash your hands frequently, stay six feet away from people, wear cloth masks and sidestep crowds. And did I say you already know it? At the end of the video, don't forget to mention your thoughts down below in the comment section. If our video helped you in any way then don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to be kept updated on these myths. Until my next video, stay home and stay healthy.